Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the AR Laboratory. Did you like Martin Ewing's review of the Anon 100D? Well, you get to see more right here. Well, here it is, the Apache Labs Anon 100D. It's a box, a rather solid one, and the entire case is the heatsink. It doesn't have any ventilation or fans, so watch the temperature especially when you run continuous duty cycles like digital RTTY PSK31. Limit your power to about 30 watts. The case is devoid of switches and knobs except for the power switch right here. Not much else to look at. Well, we have an LED that lights up when the power's on. This one is a status light. You have a mic jack, headphone jack, and your Morse code key jack. And that's your data jack from your PC has a couple of little blinky green LEDs, one that just tells you that it's working and another one that blinks when it's communicating with power SDR. Let's flip it around on the back side. We have the ground connection, DC power cord, bunch of BNC jacks for antennas and other external devices and you have your transverter output here and you have a 10 megahertz reference here, your push to talk line and your accessory plug. Accessory plug is for uh, muting, uh, audio ins and outs, etc, etc. Uh, Martin Ewing, of course, your author of this article, has explained it well. Well here I have the Apache Labs Anon 100D operating with Power SDR. Looks just like any other Power SDR application. Well if you haven't seen it before, let me just give you a brief overview. Up here is your frequency control. I can scroll up here with a mouse and change the frequency by the kilohertz, tens, or one hundreds of kilohertz. Tells you what band is on. Here's your power button that gets the program started. Your volume controls, your AGC control, the amount of power outputs adjusted here, attenuator AGC, your controls for your filtering, your split operation, the uh, band that you wish to choose, you click on it. There's your, uh, your mode panel and your filter bandwidth panel. You can also operate a second receiver. Here's your S meter up here. Once you get used to using a keyboard and the mouse, it's pretty easy. What is kind of exciting for me is that the Anon 100D can transmit on the 630 meter band with power. If you want to do so though, be careful to use an external bandpass filter or low pass filter. You don't want to cause any problems with harmonics on the AM broadcast band. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GC. I'm here at the ARL Laboratory.